Ah, yes, another one of my soap boxes. Uh, hi there, welcome back to Mud Walkers. My name is Chris. If you're watching this on uh, Vimeo, then you're just fine. If you're on YouTube, you're probably not seeing everything too clearly right now. That's because YouTube has uh, some kind of problem with naturism. If you check out the link tree in the description below, you'll find a link to my Vimeo page where you can see the uncensored version of this video. On YouTube, please hit the sub on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button, it helps a lot, and most of you are not subscribed. So, uh, yeah, obviously I'm a Christian. Uh, if you've been watching Mud Walkers for any length of time, you know that. I have lots of videos about the Bible and stuff, so obviously I'm a Christian. But, I have to pardon the pun, but um, one of the things that I don't understand about the churches that I've attended here in Louisiana is this, uh, this urge by Christians to wear such nice clothing when they go to church. It's it's odd on on several levels, but um, I'll start with one of the less le least important ones. Uh, one is I just don't understand what the point is because um, we're all people, and like you know, part of it is that you know people want to feel important and official, like and you know honor the occasion by wearing something nice. Um, but I mean, if you're having a, uh, a marriage altering conversation with your spouse and you're both in your PJs, I feel like wearing slacks is not going to make the conversation feel more important. And if you're really uh, having a deep experience with God and with God's people in church, it's really not going to matter what you're wearing. But the second issue is that in 1 Timothy, Paul tells us to wear modest clothing to church. What does he mean by modest? He says, wear modest clothing instead of expensive clothes. Oh. Yeah, instead of expensive clothing. Instead of looking expensive and looking nice, he told people wear something modest. What he was looking for is people to dress down. Dress like commoners. That's what he was after. Stop, stop dressing up so nice with all the giant earrings and the fancy haircuts and all the jewelry and the expensive clothes and the long dresses and the suits and ties. Guys, just dress like regular people. That's what he wanted in 1 Timothy, so I don't understand why now, with Christians in America, there's this drive to dress up for church. I don't understand it. Before we get to the third point, let's take a look at today's sponsor. I bet you can guess who it is. That's right, today's episode of Mont Walkers has been brought to you by my generous supporters over on Patreon. Shout out to Nature Him, Todd, Edward, John S, Joseph, Charlie, Lionheart, Adam M, Edward T, Jay Good, Cyan B, John W, Clifton M, None Here, Marty, Austin S, Martin C, Benjamin M, This Person, JLDL, Lamont W, Gary, Corky S, Michael M, Kenth L, John F, Jeremy H, G10, Richard M, PJH, Tom L, and David B. Guys, thank you so much for everything you're doing on Patreon. You're making all of this possible. You're making the content possible. You're keeping my work sustainable. So thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for what you're doing on Patreon. I really believe in the work that we're doing here at Mudwalkers, and you guys are making it possible. I want to start doing bigger and crazier things with Mudwalkers and reach more people. But that's not going to happen unless we have your continuing and hopefully increasing support over time. Uh, like I said, I'm super excited about where Mudwalkers is going right now, and it's happening because of Patreon. So big thanks to you guys. So now let's look at the third thing. Um, even if we take the premise that we're supposed to honor the occasion by... Ugh, I keep sliding down the sand. It's a little bit on a, of an incline here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But uh, anyway, yeah, if we're supposed to wear the best things that we have to honor the occasion and honor God by wearing our best... I feel like this is my best. I mean, have you looked at your hand lately? This is an engineering marvel. The being that designed this, even down to the cells and the molecules involved with it, it's spectacular, it's profound. This could not have happened by chance. The more we learn about the inner workings of life itself, the, le the less likely it seems that this evolved from some kind of goo. Um, there had to have been an intelligence involved in making all this. I just don't think that it could happen any other way. And so when we think about 
being made in God's image and being such incredible works of nature, I fail to see how a piece of cloth makes this somehow better. The, one of the analogies that I've used before is uh, imagine uh, someone taking a gold statue and then, uh, you know, draping it in like a $2 ripped up blanket from the thrift store. And it's like, well, why are you dressing the, the statue up in this, this ratty thing? And, oh, it's because I want to, you know, make the statue even better. I want to dress the statue up for the occasion. That blanket is so far below what the statue is that you're not actually adding anything. In fact, there could be a decent argument that you're detracting from the statue by dressing it in something so shoddy. And nothing made by human hands measures up to the glory that we see in front of us in the naked form of the human body. So whatever we dress ourselves in is not adding anything to the glory or majesty or beauty or importance of humanity. So dressing up for church seems uh, kind of pointless. It seems like it's the opposite of what we're called to in the New Testament. And then it seems to be um, not taking into consideration that your body itself is actually the nicest thing that you have. Anyway, that's it for today's video. A little pet topic, a little soapbox of mine. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the links in the description below. Um, they don't cost anything to click on. And I think it's interesting stuff or I, I wouldn't put it in there. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.